Hello Taurus, how are you guys? And this is your love reading from the 12th until the 18th of August 2020. Um, is it general love reading guys? If it is your reading, you are going to know. I mean, literally the first two cards out, we are going to get two cards out that represent your energy and your person's energy. That is when you're going to know. If it is yours, yay, I'm so happy. So let's do this thing. Let's call in your spirit guides. And I'm working with angel energy this week as well. I'm quite enjoying doing that. So spirit guides for my Taurus, please come into my spirit room and guide this reading and um, angel energy as well. Please come in and guide this reading with regards to what is happening in Taurus's, you know, romantic relationship. We don't know if it is a relationship. We're going to see. I mean, if it is, we're going to see um, the first, first two cards out. If it is your reading and it resonates with you, ooh, hit that thumbs up button for me, please. And you can even subscribe if you want to because the readings do come out every week. Already they got a card out for your energy. So we're going to allow the angels to kind of like take over this reading with our spirit guides, yours and mine. So let's get it started. We're also going to have a um, extended to the reading and um, the extender is going to look into the next three months energy from this point on. There we go. And one of my cats now wants to leave the room and she's by the door going, open the door for me, mommy. <laughs> imagine, just imagine. Come here, baby. Hello. Here you go. Open. Bye. And now I open the door and she stands halfway in and out the door. Are you kidding with me? There she goes. Why do cats do that? <laughs> They're like, they like they kind of like have their own way of doing things. They're like, yeah, I'll go and I'm ready to go. So let's see. Finally, can we get back to the reading? Okay, let's have a look at the energy that is in your person's vibe and in your person's spot. This is going to be able to tell us what exactly is going on between the two of you. Aha, aha, you made me see that card. There we go. Let's have a look and see what's potting with you guys. The six of water. Oh my God. <laughs> Taurus, who are you thinking about? Who are you thinking about? Who are you thinking about? This is about memories. This is about um, possibly sometimes it can be the, the mother or father of your child that you're thinking about because it can be associated with children. But I like the way this specific card, um, look how beautiful this card is, isn't that gorgeous? I like the way it says here, romanticizing the past. This is the Six of Cups in the traditional tarot, and it's definitely about somebody, an ex-person. This is about a person that you may have been with, you're thinking about the good times with this person, and you may be wondering, how can I reach out to them or get this back? I wonder if you've got communication with them. Let's see what's going on here. Wow, the justice card has come out. Hello, 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 hello. What is going on here? This person has reached out to you. They have reached out to you. They've either, you've reached out to them or they've reached out to you. I'm going to see because the next two cards I'm going to take out is actions that you guys have taken towards each other. It might even show actions in the past. I'm just giving you a warning. If this is like an ex-person, they're an ex for a reason, okay? This is somebody you dealt with, you're not with them now. Why? Okay, so let's have a look. This person, I tell you, they're feeling pretty good. Um, they got a justice energy in their any energy. I feel like it could have been them that may have reached out to you. I'm just saying because they're the one that's kind of like wielding the sword over there. And they're also carrying like, you know, the scales of justice. It's almost like a decision that they've made. Um it's because also the justice energy also talks about feeling like you're making the right decision as well. You feel like I am, I'm making the right decision. These cards are so kind of big and they're so glossy. And I'm trying to see how do I shuffle them. Let's see. This seems to be working better than the other way. So this is actions that you've taken towards them and actions that they... Aha, uh -huh. I know you wanted me to see that, have taken towards you. This is the Archangel Ragul's card, and that's very strong energy coming in. Um, it's very swift, and it's very quick energy as well. Wow. So let's have a look and see. Hmm. Wow. This is so weird. Do you know I had these two cards in the Aries reading? <laughs> this is very interesting. You've got a balance card there. That is coming out and you got a release card yeah yeah the death card has shown itself the release look at this wow this is so interesting that this has come out because this is the hierophant card in the normal deck and it talks about taking it slow it talks about taking it easy it talks about um 
you know, um, even compromise between two people. It talks about looking to do things in a different way. Okay, then was done what? before and um, it's very interesting that this is coming out and I'm liking this card because this is the death card that has come out here which is the release card so it shows you this is like a rebirth that has come out of an ending when this card comes out it's quite major um, especially with what I'm looking at here because you've got three like kind of major arcana cards or in this deck it's archangel energy which means it's quite a huge Thing that is happening in your world right now um, that's why it's associated with memories the rebirth of something that has been before and um, also what I like about this it is leaving behind things that have happened in the past especially because it says release from the Archangel Azuriel now and um, this person coming in like this um, may not want to relive things that have happened to you guys in the past they want to actually move forward with you in a much positive better way guys this is a renewal of an ex relationship there is no other way no other way to go where to go no other, other way to go there's no other way for me to say this that's it the six of water comes up which is the six of cups um i do see you kind of holding back you don't want to repeat the, the mistakes of the past this person has come back in because they feel it's the right thing to do they have had an understanding or an awakening moment about the connection they've had with you. This is very interesting. Let's have a look and see more deeper into these cards. Let's get some confirmation cards. Okay, we got six of water. You look at that. You are holding on for this person. Taurus, you were waiting. You were hoping. You got a connection to this person because this is the infinity symbol. It's not easy to break up a relationship, especially when you start seeing infinity symbols in connections with people. And you are kind of holding on for a while here with this person. You've been waiting kind of like, will they come back in? Will they will they approach me? I think there's almost an energy of you kind of like not having let, let them go. You may have been like, okay, I'm going to let them go. But spiritually inside, you've been kind of holding on, kind of like hoping that they would show up somewhere along the line, like, wow. Let's have a look here. I want to see what brought on this justice energy in their energy. What is it that they're thinking? What is their justice towards you? That will be interesting to see. How do they view it? They, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse energy. Wow. Wow. Um, this is quite major. They got you got his, this person, male or female, has got major arcanas all over their energy. Something very big has happened to them. I don't know. Have they had like a near death experience or something like that? But there's been like some kind of real wake up call. Um, you might have waited for this person for quite some time because of the wheel of fortune coming out in the reverse energy. Now you need to know this. Even though the wheel is in the reverse energy it talks about waiting it talks about delays this person feels it's almost like divine timing associated with them coming in and they know what they're doing is right towards you and it's almost like you know what they feel they feel like you are their person you have been fated to them it's like this is the person for me wow Taurus how do you feel if this is happening now, how do you feel? Like, wow, wow, I'm so happy for you. Let's see what makes you hold on here. Because you want to know this is really secure. You want to know that this person is coming in offering you commitment. You don't want to be there. And you're not, you're not the one. I like the way these two cards have come out together. You're not running after this person. You may have been in the past, but you're like, eh, not this time. They're going to run after me. I'm not doing this anymore. I can offer them security if they come in. Then I will be here. But I'm, I'll be here waiting. I'm not running after them. No. This is, why, this is why you also have this energy of the balance that is the temperance card. It's kind of like waiting to see what's going to happen. It's kind of like taking it slow. Um, even though you have been waiting. But you know what has happened before in this connection. And you want to be sure that does not happen again. This is very good, guys. I like the energy that's coming out here. Let's see this death card. The release wow you're kidding <laughs> out comes the hermit in the reverse energy oh my goodness me okay let me tell you something i told you something major is going on with this person 
and I'm not joking, they've got four major arcana cards. I never picked up one minor in their energy. And you know, to have a release card like this, it talks about, if you actually look at that, it actually says they're spiritual transformation and the normal card for this is the death card and the death card happens in someone's energy when they've had a major re revelation in their life and that is that spiritual transformation let me tell you something um this is something that they didn't like what happened to them your guys break up whatever happened to them after you guys were apart stuff happened that you don't know about or maybe you're going to find out about so um, they've had some experiences that they were absolutely not happy about um, wherever they went off, you know, and they did whatever they did, whatever caused the breakup, there is a feeling of them regretting that. The hermit card is in the reverse energy. There's also a little touch, I'm going to tell you, of stubbornness attached to this person. It's what stopped them from coming in before already, because the hermit is looking at the Wheel of Fortune over here, and this hermit is very stubborn. They're learning the lessons the hard way in life. And let me tell you something. Something happened to them that, geez, do I have to say that? Spirit guide or your, not even spirit guide is this. I know the angel energy, they speak in a very different way. They don't say like sentences. They say words to me. They just say like a word. The word that they just said when I was right here like this and they said broken. And I was just like, wow, really? That's a bit extreme, but that's how they are. That's how these angels are. They kind of like, boom, very straightforward, one word. I, they, I pick it up like that always from them. And they said what they learned out there, broken. That's what they learned. You want to know what it feels like to be broken? Now you know. They did not like that at all. But their pride has been what holding them back from coming into you. But they, if they haven't come in yet, they are going to. So let's have a look and see here with regards to the outcome, guys. What outcome can we see here with regards to this connection between these two people, please? Let's have a look and see what card are they going to give us for the outcome. Because we want to know. We want to know what is going to happen here with this connection. And let's hope whatever they learn out there changes them. What? Hello, the lovers, Archangel Raphael. Hello, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions. It even means good health, but we know it. Don't talk about health of you. Well, wishing you good health anyway, especially with where we are in the world right now. Guys, all you, you must be safe, eh? Things are really crazy. Oh, we need to just take that extra precautions. I mean, I see a lot of people going, I'm not wearing the mask. What is up with you guys in America? I'm sorry if you're American. I love you guys so much. I promise you. What a, what a hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In South Africa, we're just wearing the mask. You know, we're putting the mask on. Our numbers are so low. Just go Google South Africa's results with regards to COVID-19. We've got the lowest death rate in the world. We have the lowest numbers. Our numbers are flying high. The people are just getting better. The the You know, the spreading of the virus is... It's very different where we are. We have, I think, 1.6. It's very, very low. Because why? Because we're wearing the mask without a problem. We're very, very careful to stop the spread of this thing. We're taking it very seriously. Wear the mask, guys. Good health, okay? Oh, jeez, I just had to rent. Okay, it's just a mask. I mean, duh. Uh, it's going to pass. We're going to not wear it one day again. It'll always be around, I think. It'll always be around. Um, guys, why am I talking about this? Goodness me, Deborah. What is the outcome of this relationship? The lovers, guys. You guys are going to get back together. And you are going to share something with each other that is going to grow very strong. I think whatever has happened here, this is major. I, I, I don't often say this in readings, but I almost feel like um, you're on the brink of a major relationship here major i want to see now it's your spirit guide is advice for you coming out here i always like to oh my god this reading taurus you are the star your dreams are coming true what <laughs> i mean i don't know what to say okay Basically, your dreams are coming true. Everything you've dreamed about, what you were holding on for, the memories you've had of this person, the lover's card with your dream come true. The lover's card with the star on top of it. I don't even know what to say. So let's see. What do they advise you um, with regards to this journey that you're on with this person, this 
road trip that you're taking you know what i mean what advice do they have for you from now on moving in we're also going to look at the next three months of this connection remember just because everything's hunky-dory we still got to learn those lessons we still got things that we need to uncover that's what the lovers is all about the lovers meeting somebody you love it's about learning more about yourself and learning sometimes not so fun but that's how it is miracles this is crazy. Maybe you guys are going to have fun, hey? Look at this. Miracles expect the wondrous to emerge. Holy moly, guys. I'm just noticing something in this card. Um, you've got the night sky and you've got the star and you've got the star card. And then you've got the miracles and there is a star that is shining in both of these cards this is crazy guys this is a very good connection i don't know what you're thinking i know you're holding a bit back i actually think it's the right thing that you're holding back that you don't chase after someone don't ever do that let this person if you know i got to tell you something people please um i get a lot of people that say they don't they block me they don't want to be with me or they not uh, they don't contact me back or they don't answer me for two weeks understand this Please, when somebody wants you, wild horses will not keep them away from you. They're going to contact you. It's because they will want to be with you. Nothing is, excuse me, I've got the hiccup for some reason. Nothing is going to keep them away from you. As this person is coming in, ending it in the lovers like this, this is what a person does. If somebody is pulling back their energy and they're ghosting you left, right and center, but you still want them, you love them, this person doesn't have the same feelings back. I'm sorry to say it. it's like that, but it's it's facts. I mean, it doesn't matter, a woman or a man, when somebody wants to be with you, they come in towards you. People cannot control emotions. They are coming. But if somebody is giving you the runaround, they're giving you the runaround. It's pretty much straightforward. But here, nobody's giving nobody the runaround. There we go. Wow, Taurus, congratulations on a, such a beautiful reading. And if this person has already come back in, very positive energy. If you want to check out basically energy of the next three months, um, you can check out that link in the description box below. It'll be very interesting to look at what's happening in the next three months because I'm reading current energy of this week. Wow, this can even be somebody that is coming in. If you have been wondering, kind of like, why am I thinking about this ex-person of mine? It's because the energy is around. The energy is coming. There we go. Taurus, I nearly said Aries. Taurus, thanks for watching. Bye.